Hi, I'm Henry Lee of BlueHeronArts.com. Now I'm at uh, Sedona, Arizona, um, doing a plein air painting. This is about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, we are on top of an uh, overlook. You can see in my background the beautiful Red Rock Mountains. This is the first glance after a long day drive from LA. So this, we just uh, uh, got here last night. So I'm traveling with my, my brother, David. He's uh, Hi. David. Hi, David. Um, Hi. Hello. Uh, he's from China and uh, he's an uh, engineer professor at the university. And also my niece, uh, Shirley. Shirley is a student from UK. Study business there. Yep. So we are very uh, happy to have this uh, family reunion in the States. And uh, I'm traveling um, in Arizona and uh, uh, later uh, to Grand Canyon. So now I'm going to do a plein air painting um, of this uh, scene. This is my first uh, scene uh, in the morning. It's very, very excited. I decided to make a painting um, here. So this is my natural table. The paper I'm going to use is a um, rice paper scroll, I mean roll. Um, so it's a 10 meter long uh, rice paper, in a, comes in a roll. Um, so I can paint as long as it goes. So with this kind of panoramic view, uh, it's good to have this kind of paper. And uh, I'm using a plastic for some uh, special effect. I'm going to show you in a minute. And I'm going to use this uh, new Marie's uh, watercolor, uh, Chinese uh, watercolor. Um, it has many colors that we've seen here, ready made, so I don't have to mix all these. Uh, and this also is my palette. So the main color here is the earthy, color, the red rocks. So I'm going to use some amber. And uh, red, this burnt, uh, burnt amber. Also known as uh, burnt tea in Chinese. And this is my favorite new Marisa color is a earth red put on top of the color. This should have a lot. Our traditional red uh, color is uh, the um, cinnabar and uh, vermilion. With this uh, sunshine in the morning, I need a lot of that orange color. Let's put it on that. You don't have to think about uh, anything right now, but I put the proportion uh, of color, red colors. And this is uh, a little bit root for the dark. And we need a lot of green on the lower land. And also in the red. Let's 
keep it as simple. And some yellow. Green I like uh, the olive green, the new Marisa color, which is very good for that. Let's put it on the field. Okay, now I'm going to blend that color with uh, some ink and water. Normally I use a water brush for small paintings, but for real painting like this size, I have to use traditional tools. This is a um, feather brush. That those rooster feather brush. So touch a little bit dark and some water. Oh this is dark. Huh? Roll the brush. Yeah, we should have more reds. Come on, come on. Maybe some more. So you, I'm doing something like a oil, almost. Anyway, uh, this first step, I'm just trying to get some texture. You can do it uh, on the back of the paper because the rice paper is, too, is so thin that you can paint on both sides. I usually crumple the paper. We already got some ink. So you will have some uh, natural uh, wrinkles. Actually that side will be the front now. some or more.
follows you more than words. I'm going to uh, cut a piece off from the roll. And what you do is you fold the paper. And then use a wet brush. Can you hold for the paper for me? Thank you. You wet the crease, uh, what's it called? The, the folding line. Crease. And then pull. Just pull. have a nice uh, fussy edge. Okay, so don't cut just the uh, um, tear. Okay. So then you uh, crumble the paper like that. And you can have, uh, see if we uh, like the horizontal uh, wrinkles, you can fold the paper like this. And uh, crinkle the paper like this. Flop. Lucky will we'll get a uh, uh, Sedona right uh, right away in a few minutes. And if uh, you like, you can make uh, several uh, rubbings like this, just to pick one and to complete. Uh, Here, the uh, piece of paper according to my needs, uh, to the exact size. So I don't use a knife; I just tear. It. With the hand and the no, water. Now, Chiu, can you pull that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this way you've got to... Uh, hold on. Just a little more water. you got a nice edge. See that edge? Square button on the top. Kind of challenge. So come on, come on. <laughs> okay, okay uh, Shelly, can you give me a hand? Hold it. So after it dries, we can uh, continue with uh, other uh, details. But this is our uh, first step.
I have sprayed some water on the uh, pallet, so you can see some uh, drops of water. And that's come out to very nice, like these little stones. paper to get the color I want on this part. Oops, I got some remote backgrounds. So you can pick your color from the palette. This is the initial, uh, I call this uh, inspirational rubbing. So uh, we can continue later after it dries. This is my impression of uh, Sedona. Hope you like it. Yes. Bye bye.